Hello friends, welcome again on the freeposition.com and this is my new project event ticket booking system and that for the technology stack I have developed this project in PHP and the database which I am using is the MySQL and you can easily run this project on your WAMP server or the Jam server and also this is the open source and this is a uh, open source I think uh, PHP is the open source technology and you can easily run this project on your Linux environment as well as the Mac and the Windows. So this project is suitable for any type of operating system means in Mac or Windows and the Linux. And uh, for PHP version, I am using the PHP version 7 and the MySQL version is 5.6. So you can run this project on your latest PHP 7 version. Okay, for the front end part, I am using the HTML, CSS and JavaScript. And I have used many of the jQuery library for giving the uh, project a good effect. As you are seeing on the home page, I am uh, I have added a slider. So this slider is sliding using the jQuery, and I have used jQuery validation for uh, form validations and many of the jQuery library for creating the drop-down menus and many of the things. Okay. So let's start with the functionality of this project. So this is the home page, which is containing a slider of the banner. So you can easily replace the banners, just replacing it in the folder, right? Okay, so <clears throat> this is the home page of the project. And this is a about project. So you can change the content from the file directly. And this is the all events. So these all events are currently available. Uh, inside the project also there are two type of uh, users available in this project the first one is the user which is a customer and the second one is a super admin which who will be able to perform any type of operations in the project it means he will be able to add the events he will be able to delete the events he will be able to see all of the booking histories each and everything the super admin can perform but the customer has a limited rights and he can only and only perform the the functionality for which he has given the privileges okay so so this is the list of the events and if you want to add more event just you know log in with the admin fun admin and you will be able to add any number of event in the system you can upload the uh, event image you can add the event details inside the system this is the book ticket and again you will be able to see all of the list events and once you click on the book ticket then for booking the ticket you must have the login to the inside the system without login you will not be perform the booking okay it's because the booking is related to the user and we are using we are playing with the user session and session will not be created without login inside the system so for creating for making the booking, you must have the login inside the system. And if you don't have the user credential, just go and register on the website for getting the credential. <coughs> and this is the registration page, as I told you earlier, that if you don't have the login details, just go and register on the page. You will get the login details and you will be able to log in from the credential which you have entered in this form. Okay, and this is the login page where you will be able to enter the user id and the password and after that you will be able to log inside the system and this is the contact us page right okay so i am going to book an event so also once i click on the event you will be able to see all of the event details right this is totally dynamic page and all the details are fetching from the mysql database directly and if you want to amend or if you want to change any of the details then just go and log into the admin page and you will be able to update the details of that event you will be able to update the event photos as you can add any number of events and you can perform any type of operations which is related to this project Okay, once I click on the book ticket, then I must have the login for booking the tickets I, as I told you earlier. Okay, I'm going to log in as a customer. Okay, so I, now I will be able to book the tickets. So date is this and number of seat is three and time is this and click on the book ticket. And after that, you need to pay. 300 rupees from your card. So this is the sample uh, payment page. Okay, so just enter the details and the CV number and after that make the payment. So once you click the make the payment, you will be able to 
you will get the booking receipt which you can easily print on just clicking on this print button so once you click on the print button you will the pop-up will be open and you can save this page or you can print this page directly from the from this page okay so this is the uh, uh, customer dashboard so this is the dashboard where customer will be able to book the tickets and customer will be able to see my booking details and once you click on the view then customer will be able to see the booking details which uh, he has booked earlier right and after that my account section customer will be able to check that what the details he uh, uh, if he want to update any of the detail then he will be able to update the details from the my account sections okay next the change password the customer will be able to change his password and again the same menus is available above the page okay now let's log in with the admin because this is a session based system so a single this login page will work for both if you log in with the admin the above menu will be changed automatically according to your permissions <clears throat> okay so this is the administ administration so what the admin can do these all things admin can do right so admin will be able to add the event admin will be able to add the certificates of admin of you will be able to add the language admin will be able to even type and again admin will be able to see the event report and if you want to search any of the event then he will enter the search and that event which is related to that keywords will be displayed and will be filtered here <clears throat> Again, the certificate report, admin will be able to see all of the certificate reports and the language reports. These are the language and admin will be able to edit or delete that language. If you want to delete that French, then click on the French and that language will be deleted permanently from the database. Okay, then this is the event type. So this is the event type. And again, if you want to amend any type of the things, then just click on the it and you will you will be able to update the event type and just click on the delete for deleting the record from the database and then the event booking report so admin will be able to see all of the bookings uh, made by the customers so the difference is admin will be will be able to see all of the bookings of all of the customers but if customer login from their credential then customer will be able to see only and only his booking he will not be able to see the others user booking so this is the session based system and it's the advantage of the system okay and then the my account section then customer will be able to edit update his details uh, sorry admin will be able to update edit and update his details and the change password and the logout functionality so this project which i have developed and this is a major project which i have developed in the php and mysql so if you need more functionality in this project then please put it into the comment i will enhance my project according to your requirements also don't forget to subscribe our channel freeprojects.com for getting the latest video project video updates on your email id thank you thank you very much